Greetings and salutations, viewers of YouTube. I'm your storytelling pal, Big Al. Welcome back to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good jazz. With that being said, let's jump into today's story. Also, one quick note, please remember to look at my disclaimers video if you have any questions about, you know, like how true the stories are and, you know, <clears throat> what is acceptable and not acceptable in the comment section, so forth. With all that said, let's jump into things. So this story is about my most embarrassing bowling moment. Um, and <clears throat> it's a actually, for once, a fairly simple story. Um, I had gone with a group of friends while I was in community college <clears throat> to a bowling alley. It was roughly about... 10 30 p.m on a saturday night so the bowling alley was just packed out you know with a bunch of people every lane was basically taken up there is probably at least 250 people in the bowling alley itself um so it was you know a pretty like chaotic environment to begin with but i went to roll my ball and like, basically, I guess my feet just kind of slipped out from under me. And the people I was with said that for a brief second, I was completely horizontal in the air. And then I just kind of fell down flat on the floor, hitting like kind of with my back, you know, as the point of impact. Um, And <clears throat> the problem was I had actually like as my rolling of the ball motion had continued to take place, even though my body had rotated from vertical to horizontal, I, I released the ball without thinking about it. And so when I first was laying on the ground and looking up, it looked like that I had thrown the ball straight up and it was going to come straight down on my head. And, you know, as someone who, you know, ha has like had several close calls with dying already in life, I, I thought to myself in, a, in just this brief second of time, I was like, if after everything I've done to myself, if I take myself out in a freak bowling accident, that's just going to be like <clears throat> the most owl thing that could have ever happened. You know, my friends are not even going to be able to keep a straight face at my funeral. They're going to be like, he died in a bowling accident. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking when I first saw that ball, because it looked like it had gone straight up and was going to come straight back down on my face. But as it turned out, the ball was not coming straight back down. It was actually going kind of like up and to the left. Um, it barely missed a sprinkler and it finally came down three lanes over to the left of where I threw the ball. And it <clears throat> hit kind of in that divider that's in between the, the gutters. And it bounced up in the air, and then it came down on that divider on the other side and bounced back up in the air, and then it landed in the lane. And as it was bouncing from one side back, you know, back to the other, the ball that the person rolling on that lane had thrown went under my ball. And so as my ball hits the lane and starts rolling itself, it's following this other person's ball by about four or five feet. So this other person's ball hits the pins and the little gate comes down for the pin resetter. And then my ball just slams into that and comes in, comes to a dead stop in the middle of the lane. And so now, whereas everyone had kind of been doing their own thing, suddenly everyone in the bully dally is looking at me. And there's stunned silence for a few seconds. And then just everyone just burst out into laughter. And so <laughs> the, 
My friends first check to make sure I'm okay, and then once they know I'm okay, they burst out laughing too. I have to walk down the gutter and, and like walk all the way up to like just right at where the pins were at, pick my ball up and bring it back. Um <clears throat> Because it just stayed sitting there where it was. And it was just so embarrassing. And so after a few moments, the owner of the alley came over. And he was laughing as he said this. But he goes, man, I started working here as a teenager when my parents owned this place. And I've owned it myself for 30 years now. And I have never, ever seen anything like that happen. And so, well, uh, yeah, I, it, I guess it would have to happen to me. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that brought some levity to your day. Hope you're having a good one. I am out.